Good morning, POA here. Uh, we are gonna do, well, another, almost call it a box a month at this point, Time Spout Remastered Box Battle. These are a couple of Aftermath packs, which are collector packs, which are the prizes, but we'll talk about that in a moment. So, let's get into this thing. It's definitely a channel favorite. It's a favorite of mine. It's a favorite of, frankly, I think every participant here. Um, this was, what? The last time Wizards made a specialty set that was really well thought out? <laughs> Something like that? I don't know. Anyway, <clears throat> this is a battle. So we have six participants. Each one's going to get six packs out of this particular box. We're going to add up the mana value of all their rares and mythics. Whoever has the highest total and whoever has the lowest total is each going to win one of those Aftermath collector packs. Funny thing about Aftermath, though, um, at least the collector packs, is... Uh, the prof just showed. <laughs> There's a little bit of arbitrage going on inside that product. Um, not like Modern Horizons 2 when it released level, but but nonetheless, it's you know nobody's cracking the boxes, but people want the cards. Some of the cards anyway, which leads to that. It's kind of a funny, funny situation going on with that product that I'm watching like a hawk because I, I find it fascinating. What's gonna break first? That's the question. Okay. We're all mixed up. So we got Wildcat MTG. You're in the front. We got Patrick. Okay. The Unholiest of Rams. We got Luke. Cool. Steven. Who I'm not sure has ever missed a time spiral battle. It's actually impressive. And then J.A. in the caboose. All right, good luck, everybody. So um, I did say I went through just my normal talking points where I said rares and mythics. We also count the old borders, okay? So I was just going through the motions and saying the same things I always say, and I just reminded myself I should probably say that too. Wildcat, so we do this in three rounds. The first round is three packs a person. Let's get into Wildcat's first pack here. Commons, we don't care. All right, we got some Shivan Sand Mage. You know what? I really got to do a little. Yeah, there we go. A little better. Okay, good. <clears throat> a little tighter, but that's all right. Okay. All right, Enslave. Yava Maya Dryad. Pact of the Titan for a zero, the first pact. And Ethereal Armor for a tiny. You got to be. <clears throat> so, uh, Wildcat, do you, uh, you don't really want this, right? <laughs> That's an old border far seek. That is awesome. That is awesome. That is really awesome. If you watch the channel, you know that I am a fan of far seek slash a fan of old border far seek. Uh, that is spectacular. That is right off the rip, but of course, I mixed up the packs, right? So, it doesn't necessarily mean anything to be in like a two old bordered box, but that is a good old border to pull in a foil. I don't even know what the price is, but if I had to guess right now, that is 30 to 40 bucks. Would be my guess. That is a three in your first pack, Wildcat. Congrats. And I hate you. All right, next pack. That premature Burial Keen Sense. Arc Blade. Okay. Tomb Stalker for an 8, just to go in complete opposite of your first pack. And Vampire Hex Mage. Another good old bordered. Especially more recently with uh, the invention of battles. So that is a 10. Hey, and a foil rare. Dude, you're just going, you're just going kind of crazy here with different mana values. So what are you at? You're at a 13? 13. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to put that old Border Fire Seek aside for a second. All right, next pack for a while again. Get the Phantom Worm. Storm Entity. Phythesis. Hey, another trader. Good rare. That is a two. And an Ancient Stirrings for a three. So you just went low, high, low. 
You are at a 19 Wildcat in your first three packs. Congratulations on the far seek. Patrick. You know, the only thing I don't like about Time Spiral is I don't like the color of the packaging. I do not like the green, yellow, portal looking thing color. I don't think it's appealing. That's, you know, that's my only negative about this whole set. Is the box packaging isn't appealing uh, to me. All right, Firewake Sliver, Time Bender, Draining Hook for a six, and a Throbin Inspector for a seven, and an Ixla Jailer in foil. So a seven in your first pack, Patrick. All right, you got some Basalt Gargoyle. Dusk Rider Peregrine. Char Rumbler. Fungus Sliver for a four. Intangible Virtue for a six. All right. We can do better than that deck. We will do better right now. Right now, Gaia's Anthem, Dormant Sliver, Smallpox, Hive Stone for a two, Kiki Jiki, there we go, that is better. All right, we got Kiki Jiki in the old bordered. Very good. So that's, two, so that's another seven. So that is a 20 for Patrick in our first non-foiled, really good old bordered hit. All right, Ram, you're up. We have something foily coming up. Might sliver, delay. Calciderm. Caravec for a big old seven. Sigil of the Empty Throne, so you have a 12 already. And a Storm Entity in foil. Okay, 12 for Ram to start. Big casting cost first pack. Caravec will do that. Got Lightning Axe, Imperial Soar, Return to Dust, Tolaria West for a zero, Alesha who smiles at death for a three, and a foil Dreamscape, art art Dreamscape Artist. All right, so you had a big pack to start and then you go out to a three. Okay, this Tolaria West is not a terrible pull. Next pack for Ram. All right, Nightshade Assassin, Prodigal Pyromancer, Skittering Monstrosity, Living End for our first Mythic and a solid one at that. That does count as a zero in the battle because there's nothing up there. And <laughs> Talrond, freaking Talrond. That is a four, but our first Mythic and a good one at that. So Ram, you are also at a 17, or sorry, 19, right along with Wildcat. Okay, Luke. Okay, got Yix's Jailer, Griffin Guide, Linawar Mentor, Pulmonic Sliver for a five, Dreadhorde Arcanist for a two, so you're at a seven, and a seven. Okay, next pack for Luke. Muck Drub, Utopia Mycon, Street Wraith, Greater Gargadon for a 10. Usually not a card you ever actually want to pull until you're in a battle for high-low. And Hedron Archive. So that is a 14 inside of that pack. And Luke immediately shoots up to the high. Okay, next pack for Luke. I've seen some wild swings in this product. So we will see how this goes. Saltfield Recluse, Sulfur Elemental, Stone Cloaka, 
Crovax. Boo! 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 That is a six, though. And a Bloodbraid Elf. Okay, not the worst. That is a 10, though, in that pack. But boo, Crovax. Boo! Well, Luke, uh, you're at a 31 in three packs. So, you know, you pull the Crovax, which we don't want to see, but at the same time, you have a pretty good lead on that high spot. Steven, let's see what you got. Even Mind Sensor, Fire Maw Kavu, Urza's Factory, Cure Keep, okay, that is a zero. And Lavinia, not bad, that is a two in the side of that pack. So while Luke got all the beefy packs, Steven starts off with a, the tiniest pack yet. Celestial Crusader. You know, I will say one thing about this product. They did a really good job downshifting cards. Okay, Necrotic Sliver. Knight of the Holy Nimbus. Rada for a two. Hey, Relentless Rat. Uh, uh, Relentless Rat's old border. That's not a bad little old border right there. So that is a five in that pack. Next pack for Steven. Dark Heart Sliver. Careful consideration. Calciform Pulls. Coalition Relic for a three. Hey, old border Bajuka Bog. That is not a bad old border at all. That is also an extremely tiny again, but do you have a foil? You do. Ah, it's common. Dirkwood Belloff. So that is a three in another good old bordered pool. So Steven, you're at a 10. You uh you got a pretty good lead for that low right now. J A, you are up. So you're gonna start off with a delay. Griffin guide. Rebuff the Wicked. There's a good uncommon. Sengir Nosferatu. You're at a five. And Felden. So you're at an eight. And a foil Rothy Trapper. So an eight to start. I'll review the totals again at the end of the first round. Assault Gargoyle. Sliver Smith. Dune Rider Outlaw. Jaya Ballard for a three. Sanguine Bond Old Bordered. Not bad either. That is another eight. Is there a foil? Nope. Okay. And third pack for J.A. He's just... He's got that consistency down. Sudden Shock. Trump the Domains. Primal Force Mage. Benelish Commander for a four. And a Cloud Shredder Sliver. So that is a six. Breaking your flow, but nonetheless, Cloud Shredder Sliver is not a bad old border pull. All right, so you're at a 20, J.A. So to review the first round, we've got Wildcat at a 19, Patrick at a 20, Ram at a 19, Luke in the high at a 31, Steven in the low at a 10, and J.A. at a 20. Next round is two packs. Wildcat, you are up. All right, Minions Murmurs, Haze of Rage. So much haze, so much rage. Joda's Avenger. Aeon Chronicler for a five. And a Crystal Shard for an eight. Okay. <clears throat> Next pack for Wildcat. Pendlehaven Elder. Dreadship Reef. Clockwork Hydra. Walk the Aeons. Not a bad rare pull. That is a six. Come on. Time of Need. So that is an eight, and that is an eight. 
So you're at a 35 Wildcat. Time of needs one of those cards that I'm always, even though I, I, I guess I don't play with it either, I'm always kind of uh, amazed by its price point. Especially nowadays with everything running rampant with legendaries. All right, so Wildcat, you're at a 35. Let me just fix my piles so I don't knock stuff over. Patrick, you're up. So Patrick, you're at a 20 going into these packs. We're gonna start off with the Dark Heart Sliver. Phantom Worm, Mystical Teachings, Magus of the Future for a 5, and Mall Drifter. So that is a 10, Old Border Mall Drifter. Okay. And next pack for Patrick. We've got a foil something coming up. All right, Cautery Sliver. Ponga 5, finally. Nice little $5 uncommon there. Conflagrate. Pact of Negation. Very nice. There we go, Patrick. That's a zero, though. And a Trigon Predator. So you are at a three. There's a foil. A Oh, foil Keen Sense. That's a cool foil. That is actually a really cool foil. I would not be surprised if that is a foil that holds a little bit of value right there. So that was a three... So Patrick, you know your first pack was a pretty good size. Your second pack, not so much. You're at a 33. Okay, Ram. Here we got some Stronghold Rats. Firemaw Kaboo. Kaboo. Scrib Ranger. Mary the Cursed for a four. And Lab Man. Okay, that is a seven. All right, next pack for Ram. This will open. There we go. We got the cards out. Lost Oromancers. Valid. Harmonic Sliva. Hey, 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 Ram, there we go. So we found an Urborg, the most, second most expensive card in the set. And a leveler in the old border, so that is a five, but you found one of the biggest prizes you can find. So you're at a 31, Ram, but congratulations. Okay, Luke. Cloud Cedar, Hench Fiend, Fury Sliver, Lotus Bloom for a zero, okay. And become immense for a six. And next back for Luke. There might have been some catching up here in that high. I guess we'll find out after this round. Sudden Death, Whip Spine Drake. Faceless Devourer. Flagstones of a dollar. So we found uh, pretty much all the lands at this point. Disdainful Stroke for a two. And a foil common, the Knight of Circe. A two, Ram. That's not how you keep the high. Oh, sorry, Luke. That's not how you keep the high. Okay, who was on? So you're at a 39 now, Luke. I'm going to put the flagstones of a dollar on top. All right. <clears throat> so, Steven, you're at 10 going into these next two packs. I just want to keep in mind, I think we pulled, what, two Mythics so far? So, there's still Mythics in play. Dreadship Reef. Ixlid Jailer. Salt Blast. Mangara. for three. Hey, Sad Robot. So, Solemn Simulacrum. That is a seven. And a foil reckless worm. Okay, next pack for Steven. Salt Crusted Step, Street Wraith, Mycologist, Swarm Yard. Okay, so now we have gotten like all the lands. That's a good pull. That's a Swarm Yard for a zero. And a Primeval Titan, which, had it not been banned in uh, Commander, would be a phenomenal pull. 
That is a six. So you're at a 23, Steven. You're pretty low heading into that last pack. Nice pull on that swarm yard. That's a card that keeps ticking up. Okay, J.A., so you're at a 20 going into your next two packs. Outrider and Core. Shape Repair Site. Calciform Pulls. Porphyry Nodes for a 1. And Ponder Old Bordered. There's a pretty good Old Border. Unfortunately, it is off-centered left and right, but that is a 2 in that pack with a good Old Bordered grab. Okay, next pack for J.A. You know what? This last round is going to have some competition. After that first round, I wasn't quite sure if we were going to get there or not. Yeah, first round was so one-sided for both sides. Wipe away. Fungal reaches. Stormcloud Jin. Magus of the Moon. Another good rare hit. Good. I think we, uh, we're kind of getting like all the good rare hits here almost. So that is a three. And Thoughtseize. Nice pack. J A. And that is a four. So you're at a 26. Whew, what a pick. All right. So heading into the last round here, we've got, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be tight. Wildcat's at a 35. Patrick's at a 33. Ram's at a 31. Luke's still in the high at a 39. Steven's still in the low at a 23. And JJ's at a 26. Wildcat, you are the next closest to the current high. Let's see how your last pack does you. We got Dread Return, Riff Marked Knight, Molten Slag Heap, Mythic. Oh, a Chroma's Memorial. Very nice rare uh, Mythic hit. That's a 7 2. Sheesh. Okay. And Ramnu Nap, or whatever you want to say, Ramnu Nap. Ruins. Ruins. That is a 7 in your last pack, Wildcat. That puts you at a 42. So while uh, it's not that high of a total, it's going to be an interesting last round here. But congratulations on a couple of those pulls. All right, Patrick, you've got some work to do to get the high, or you've got some work to do to get the low. you got the Necrotic Sliver, Dusk Rider Peregrine, Bonded Fitch, Glittering Wish for a 2, okay. Tide Hollow Sculler for a 4. Not quite the pack that we wanted. So a 37 for Patrick. Ram. Outrider in Core. Shaper Parasite. Riptide Pilferer. Heartwood Storyteller for a 3. And a Flicker Wisp for a 6. With a Gem Hide Sliver Foil. So 6. That puts you also at a 37 Rams. So you are tied with Patrick for whatever that means at this moment. But congratulations on the Urborg. Alright, Luke. So Luke here at 39. Finished high is a 42. Blink, Stronghold Rats, Paradise Plume, Spell Burst. All right, now we get into the juice. Wheel of Faith for a zero. Oh boy, oh boy. Well, I don't think there's a foil here, so your next card. Oh, it is a 3. It is Feather the Redeemed. And no foil. So that means it is a tie currently. Not that this is done yet. But tie does get determined based off who has the single highest casting cost Mythic. And right now that is Wildcat with a Chroma's Memorial at 7. That that trumps uh, Krovax over there. Krovax just showing up to annoy everybody. All right, Steven. You're currently in the low to 23. Prodigal Pyromancer. 
Might Sliver. Frozen Grip. Mythic. Restore Balance. Well, it is the fifth Mythic of the box. Uh, usually you get four Mythics in a box. That is the fifth Mythic, and that is a zero. And a Stonehorn Dignitary for a four. Um, we got all the Mythic uh, Suspend cards, but one, didn't we? Wow. All right, J.A. Oh, no, no, we're missing two. So you're at a 26, J.A. Finished is Steven at a 27. You got Stormfront Riders. You got Brian Elemental. You got Jordan's Avenger. Extra paint for a one. Okay, this got interesting. So you are currently tied. Oh, well, Harvester's Soul. So that is a seven. So that is going to do it for the low. So that is a 33 for JA. Not that I think you're too sad about that with the haul that you're taking home with you. All right, <clears throat> final totals. Wildcats at a 42. Patrick's at a 37, Ram's at a 37, Luke's at a 42, Steven's at a 27 in the low, and JA is at a 33. I'm just going to double check Wildcats and Luke's piles for Mythic. Make sure I had that correct. Yep, so we have a Chroma's Memorial. All right. And Luke. Crovax. Yep, that is it. And Wildcat wins the high. All right, we're going to start with Stevens. I always start with the low. Come on, open up. Open up. Hey, Halo Foil Reckless Handling. That's like a five buck on common right there. In fact, I'm going to sleeve that up right after. Colgan's Warmonger. Pianolar. Arnie Metalbrow. Rocco. Come on, Mythic. Come on, Mythic. Nope. And Plarg and Nasari. Okay. And then Wildcat. Let's get into yours. Come on. Nope. Oh, and then we got another Halo Foil. Another Copper Coat and Vanguard. Uh, another $5 uncommon Halo Foil. So once again, I got it. Sleeve that up. We got Markov Baron. Open the way. Good rare. Jarena. Come on, Mythic. Metropolis Reformer. One more shot. We have a Mythic. Tyvar. And we got a Tyvar in the foil etched to finish us off. Cool. Well, that's going to do it for yet another... Uh, Time Spiral Remastered Box Battle. Thanks for watching, everybody. These are always a good time. Awesome set. Great product. Um, thankfully, prices have been stable, which is fantastic. Um, these are not a bad product to open at this price point. Just don't expect to uh, make your money, I guess you can say. Yeah, that's all I got. Like, comment, subscribe. All that good stuff. Comment down below. Something. I don't even care what. Just, just say hi.